Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna mess with curves and blur in a little specific tutorial I'm gonna call Quickie. So go ahead and open the image I, su I supplied. If not, just go ahead and get your own. And right away, let's get to it. So go to Curves and go to the red channel. Now the reason we're gonna mess with it individually is because we're gonna turn the colors a little different on each one. So turn as I do here, just follow along. And I mean, if you need to pause, go ahead. Um, all right, now, as you can see, it changes the colors just a little bit, like on the shadows and such. It kind of turns them a little um, more colorful and rich in like the blue and green tones. So, okay, now go to the full RGB again. And when you do, we're gonna put some more uh, contrast in this. Now, once we've got the layer the way we like it, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it. So to do that, we're gonna go to the layers again, and we're gonna grab that layer and bring it to the create new layer icon. And that's gonna duplicate the current layer that we're gonna be on. So for now, let's go ahead and fix this. All right, when you get it like you like it, hit okay. And there it is. Okay, now let's duplicate it. Grab it, drop it, you have two now. Now select the new one that you just made. And let's go to image. Adjustment. Now you can do this with curve or brightness and contrast. I find it easier just to do it with brightness and contrast. If you have Photoshop CS3, you're gonna notice there's a legacy menu, I uh, mean option. Go ahead and put it on so you can get this crazy contrast that is no longer available with the new contrast tool. So do that, put it on something really crazy. And uh, now we're gonna go to the blurring option. Uh, when we blur it, we're gonna wanna blur it so it's pretty, pretty blurry, but not to the point where it's just a blob. Because we wanna keep some of the detail, because these details are gonna eventually become the glow that uh, our light's gonna produce. Um, so, go to Gaussian Blur under Filter and mess with it however your picture looks better. I mean, each picture is gonna have a different resolution, so whatever thing works will work for you. All right, so whenever you got it the way you need it, change the opacity until you can start seeing the details behind it. And what you wanna do is kind of give it a nice balance, kind of in the lower half. Don't go too past 50. And uh, once you get to a desired spot, go ahead and stop, and uh, then you're good. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's also other things you can do, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, have a good time and uh, just keep practicing.